Hello everyone, Niels uh, here once again for Jetflix TV. I'm here in a hangar at Drachten Airport, Echo Hotel Delta Romeo. And uh, currently behind me, uh, my uh, aviation friend, fellow aviator Jolmer from the YouTube channel Fur Fun Flyer, is doing some maintenance on his new airplane. Many of you may know Mikey McBrien's show, Plane Savers, where they save Dakotas. This plane didn't really need saving. It was already in a, a good state, but uh, yeah, Jolmer is currently refitting it and uh, upgrading it in order for the airplane to meet his personal needs. And today we will take a look with him on what he's doing and what he's planning uh, for his new aircraft, the TL-96. The TL-96, that's a firm. Uh, Pop Hotel 3 Golf 2. Let's take a look. Well, uh, this is a TL Ultralight TL96 from uh, 99. She's built in 99, so uh, already 20 years old, but only with 400 hours on, uh, on the aircraft and uh, the engine and the, the, the total time airframe. Uh, and the reason why I bought uh, this particular airplane was a combination of, uh, well, my uh, own motivation or the necessity to uh, convert to Dutch uh, regulations uh, for microlight flying because I uh, originally have a German license, uh, a sport pilot license, uh, uh, and uh, I want to convert uh, or at least uh, get uh, the, the same uh, paperwork for Dutch reg registered airplanes because we live in Holland and that's, that's the main basis for the microlight flying I do nowadays. Uh, and uh, that's part one of the combination of buying this airplane and the second was the availability. This airplane uh, was owned by uh, a previous owner that uh, wanted to quit his uh, flying hobby and uh, I uh, got it uh, for a really uh, good price and with all the specifications uh, as I told earlier with just 400 hours on the total, uh, total time airframe and uh, she was never used for uh, flight training. It was a nice combination of things uh, that led uh, to uh, the purchase of, of uh, this, uh, this beauty. And uh, of course also the performance. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a really capable low wing aerpl airplane with a 100 horsepower Rotex 912 engine. Uh, and uh, she can fly stable, slow, uh, but also pretty fast. Uh, uh, it doesn't take a lot of a uh, lot of time to reach 100 knots and above. Uh, so it's a uh, it's a really nice airplane. I always found the TL Auto Light airplanes uh, really interesting, and uh, well, it uh, one thing led to another, and uh, here here we are. Okay, great. And uh, can you tell us uh, what modifications you've made already or this far uh, into the project? Because obviously. You want to make the airplane a bit more your uh, airplane. You want to basically retrofit it uh, to meet your personal needs. Yeah. Um, what were for you the, the basic things that you really uh, said, okay, this is what I want in my airplane. This is what I want to fit. And uh, how much of it have you already completed? Uh, as far as uh, cockpits go, I'm a bit of an OCD kind of guy. Uh, well, in general, I'm a bit of an OCD kind of guy, but I learned to live with it. But uh, no, I, uh, I got a real high standard uh, for uh, well, the cockpit layouts and, and uh, where every, everything should be. Uh, interface wise and also the, the cockpit panels that were uh, in the airplane were a bit dated they were partially a bit uh, cannibalized uh, with the, the, with some, some parts missing and when I uh, deinstalled the panels I uh, saw some uh, discrepancies uh, in the electrical systems uh, as well so uh, I'm really glad that I decided to do the cockpit panels uh, completely uh, uh, all over again and that's something I uh, also capture in uh, uh, my vlogs. Uh, the, the, the next couple of uh, vlogs will be uh, the somewhat technical uh, uh, vlogs on, on uh, my, the, the alterations and modifications of my airplane. Yeah, what I basically did is I deinstalled the cockpit panels, I drew the outlines on paper, I scanned those papers into digital images one to one, uh, I factorized those images and I designed a complete new cockpit layout for both uh, the left 
left or both for all three panels, the left, the middle and the right one. I basically uh, designed a, a combination, a hybrid of a glass cockpit-ish kind of setup and analog instruments because the airplane came with analog instruments. So uh, that's, that's basically, uh, I reuse I think 90% of the, the stuff that came with the airplane. So one of the biggest uh, modifications so far um, uh, the, to the electro system, well, of course, uh, that that's one of the the the, the, the main uh, uh, ultra radius modifications I uh, I uh, I'm doing right now. But uh, besides that, the electrical system is uh, the fuel system, uh, one of the larger. Uh, jobs I uh, did uh, so far and mainly uh, installing an extra uh, electric fuel pump uh, uh, that wasn't available on this airplane. Bit funny but uh, you would have reckoned uh, that with a low wing aircraft uh, the airplane would have come with, with a fuel pump but uh, I uh, reinstalled or installed an electric fuel pump that helps the mechanical pump on the Rotex 912 engine that's situated here uh, on the gearbox uh, with uh, well the, the, the the fuel supply to uh, to the engine to the both carburetors and um, well uh, it's uh, needless to say if this pump would fail and you don't have any uh, electrical uh, fuel pump or a backup uh, pump uh, that would uh, turn uh, really qu quickly turn into a bad day so uh, that's that's the reason I really wanted to install this one and uh, it's fitted uh, so the the fuel lines are in it and uh, I used uh, fire sleeves uh, pretty expensive stuff but this is for uh, thermal uh, in insulation and uh, uh, the, the engine was partially uh, um, equipped with, with uh, fire sleeves, but uh, I installed it uh, on the new lines as well. And I rerouted a few lines inside uh, at the other side of the firewall to, uh, to be able to, uh, to do it like this, because uh, this is the, the uh, installation requirement of the fuel pump with, uh, with a 45 degree angle. Too, uh, too technical perhaps, but uh, this is the correct way of installing it with uh, the, the biggest uh, separation of, the, of the, the, the exhaust muffler that's situated here. So uh, you have to really be careful with, with, with planning the, the place of, of uh, these types of uh, systems but uh, that's uh, that's nice and uh, besides that I uh, also uh, made my own uh, uh, bracket my mount for the oil uh, tank because the Rotex 912 engine there are a lot of people out there of course that know the, this engine but it's a dry sump engine that uh, means that it doesn't have an oil pan by itself so the oil tank is uh, necessary for uh, the oil uh, supply and it's uh, it's a closed circulation if this fails on you <laughs> in mid-flight uh, or gets separated somehow then uh, you've got a real real big uh, problem because all the lubrication stops immediately on, uh, on this uh, en engine so uh, but that's uh, firmly uh, attached uh, to the to the engine mount, so I couldn't be uh, happier with that uh, that setup. So, uh, well, that's basically what I did. Oh, and uh, the LED uh, wingtip lights. When I bought the airplane, I already knew uh, I would uh, would do, and uh, that was the replacement of the wheel and uh, wingtip lights, with, which were the, the basically uh, the old-fashioned flashlights. I replaced them with LED lights from Avio Lights. So that's uh, that's a, a small Polish company, but I'm really enthusiastic about their uh, products because they're really affordable. They're like have some sometimes uh, a third of the price of uh, the, the the big uh, big uh, companies and uh, they uh, this is a combination of three lights uh, so a colored navigation light a strobe and a position rear position light and uh, it's uh, as I said really affordable and it uh, that that will last the entire airplane uh, lifespan so for now I want to thank you very much for uh, well showing us around and uh letting us into uh, the whole process of uh, maintaining and upgrading yeah. your own airplane yeah. because uh, yeah, obviously it's, it's a time consuming process but it's also very rewarding. Yeah. Um, for any potential pilots out there who are thinking about buying their own uh, micro light aircraft, uh, what is your number one tip you would give to them? Uh, clearly know what your own uh, abilities, capabilities are, your, your, your skill set is. Uh, and uh, know uh, your way around finding the right people that do have the skills uh, you lack yourself. I think that's 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 the best way. And uh, try to to uh, to uh, get that as clear as possible uh, because there are a lot of people out there that just pretend and they they know their stuff and they don't. And then that's that's when stuff gets gets tricky. Know yourself and get help when you don't. Uh, that's the best advice I can I can give you. So, uh, and that's basically how I do it as well. Okay, Omer.
thank you very much and uh, hopefully we see you in the sky very soon yeah ho hopefully you too and uh, for people that want an in detailed uh, report on the progress on this airplane go uh, to my youtube channel that's called for fun flyer uh, probably you, you'll uh, you'll uh, do a link in the description of this video i guess yes. and uh, the, the the next couple of uh, posts i'll do there on my youtube channel for fun flyer is on the technical modifications of the airplane and, and that's pretty uh, in-depth stuff too so you will see me designing uh, and uh, laser cutting test uh, test uh, panels i think that the people that enjoy the, the technical stuff of, of airplanes will really Really enjoy those episodes so check that out ladies and gentlemen from the fly deck this is Neil speaking and on behalf of the entire crew we uh, hope you enjoyed your video uh, on board Jetflix today if you did and you're into aviation related content please consider subscribing we have all kinds of aviation related content so uh, check that out uh, we also want to extend a thank you to uh, Jolme Tailstra from the channel for fun flyer for uh, working with us together on this video today. Please also consider subscribing to him. Uh, on behalf of the entire crew, we thank you very much for uh, flying with us today and we hope to see you aboard again very soon. Bye-bye.